keeps me motivated despite the uh, constant strife and challenges that we face in science is, is the pursuit of, of discovery and, and understanding how something works to provide a very deep and rich understanding of how that process happens. I'm Susan Keck. I'm the director of the NOMA Center for Immunobiology and Microbial Pathogenesis at the Salk Institute. I grew up in Washington State, uh, Olympia, Washington, actually the capital of the state. Uh, I went to school in Seattle, and so I kind of grew up in the, the western part of Washington, the rainy side of Washington. My family was um, a very general, typical family. I had a sister, um, my, um, my mother um, unfortunately died of, of breast cancer when I was 17, so that was quite a big, you know, um, shake to your youth uh, and uh, makes you think a lot about um, different aspects of how you live your life when you lose someone to, to cancer at that age. The most important thing that my parents and my family instilled in me was um, the idea of that hard work is, is what it takes and that you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, I didn't know really about social boundaries and gender boundaries and glass ceilings that existed when I was growing up. Our family lived in, in a place where you could pretty much do whatever you've set your mind to as long as you worked really hard to get there. I have always had a knack for science. My dad was actually a biology teacher, so I kind of had this interesting exposure to science through the lens of a school teacher. My favorite classes were physics and chemistry, and I liked doing math homework. My first job uh, was at Kentucky Fried Chicken and uh, I didn't have a car. As soon as I turned 15 and a half, uh, my, my parents said, you need, to, you need to have a job. That's when you can start to work. So I had a job at 15 and a half and I would drive uh, this little uh, orange scooter uh, to Kentucky Fried Chicken and that's where, they, that's where I worked for the summer. In college, I didn't really have much uh, exposure to what you could do as a scientist. To me, being a scientist wasn't really a profession I knew about. So I initially started off actually uh, majoring in engineering. It was somewhat of a coincidence that I was uh, able to take a, a biology course as an elective actually my freshman year in, in, in college. And, and that was where I was first exposed to genetics. Um, and cell biology. My advisor, Charles Laird, who uh, came up to me, he actually said, what grad schools are you applying to? And I was like, oh, I guess, yeah, I hadn't really, you know, thought, you know, about grad school as an option. I thought the traditional route was to go into industry. And he's like, oh, no, no, you should, you should go to grad school. And so that's when I started thinking about different graduate schools I wanted to go to. And I was very fortunate that I was able to uh, uh, attend Stanford University in their developmental biology program, which is where I got my PhD. In reflecting about where my lab was going at the time as a, being an immunologist and studying our immune system, uh, I was really starting to stretch our research into different areas and intersections that crossed into uh, different areas of science. And, the Salk Institute knocked on my door and asked if I would take a look at this uh, position to be the director of the NOMA Center. And I knew that a more diverse scientific environment would, um, would be beneficial to our research. Their research is focused on understanding how our immune system functions to protect us from infection and other diseases such as cancer. On one hand, the immune system can be beneficial, but how on the other, it can contribute to disease and pathology. It's one of the, the biggest areas that my lab has had an impact in the field is, is elucidating the framework and genetically and biochemically for how long-term memory T cells form after an infection or after a vaccine and really getting to a level of detail that we understand the molecules that are involved in guiding this process to help us generate now better therapies for cancer and, and vaccines for, for infectious disease. It's an exciting process that you can't really uh, explain with words and I want other people to share in that.